the processes and the business uh, practices that were right for the last five or 10 years probably won't be right for the next 12 months in the environment we're in, let alone for the next five years. You know, so, you know, it's, it's taking those um, process picking them apart and getting them where you can get better resource utilization so that you become a stronger more profitable business good morning i'm absolutely delighted to have our guest cormac johnson from cash to consultancy here to talk about his business good morning cormac how are you good morning Regina. thanks very much and thanks for having me with you this morning it's a lovely day it's a lovely day. The sun is shining. Tell me, explain, please, what Kesh2 means and tell us a bit about your business, Cormac. Kesh Consulting is a consultancy, business consultancy that set up uh, two years ago, based here in Waterford. And Kesh2 means, it's the Irish translation of to question. Um, and I believe that's, I suppose, what uh, I do and what the business does is that we, we do uh, business process improvement, uh, productivity and operations management services. But we question Basically, our, our role is to question companies as to why they do things um, and what's been done and, and why, why are they doing it, as they say, and then trying to help them to benefit their business and, and ultimately their, their profits uh, by improving their processes and by uh, making things run more efficiently and simply. Yeah, and tell me this, what type of companies do you work with, Cormac? Uh, as I say, we work with uh, progressive SMEs, uh, people in the sectors of um, hospitality, healthcare, IT, property development, across the, you know, the whole gambit of, uh, of industry, I suppose, because process improvement isn't the remit of you know, the large multinationals. Uh, process improvement and lean is, is there for everybody. It is actually usable in, in all different industries. And, and I can definitely speak from, a, from our, our perspective at Liberty Blue, we availed of uh, the Lean for Micro grant mm -hmm. and we had um, two Lean programs run in the business um, by another consultant. I didn't know you were doing it. At the it's time. okay. <laughs> um, um, and we were thrilled. It was a game changer for us in the business in terms of looking at how we did all our various processes, mapped it all out, and then um, our consultant worked with us to help us get rid of wasteful activities. And that meant then by actually eradicating the waste, we were actually able to concentrate on more higher value work. In other words, stop doing stuff that doesn't add value. Yeah, exa exactly. And, and, and that's the way we looked at it. We, you know, we use this as a hands-on collaborative approach Utilizing your know, lean methodology and tools to um, help business review their the processes and, and their activities, so that they are actually um, having a you know I suppose increasing their their profits and reducing their costs, which is what every you know business owner wants to do. I suppose in a nutshell, the way I said is we help companies do the right things the right way. Um, you know that that's what we're looking at, trying to help people to do. And it's standardizing processes, and isn't, isn't it even like administration? It is indeed, yeah. I mean, one of the companies that we worked with recently, um, as a result of COVID, they actually got a, a massive increase, a surge in in requirements for their for their products, which a lot of people would say is very lucky. But what did happen about as a result of it is that they found that they had some serious um, issues with their business processes that they couldn't actually deliver what was being asked, and as a result, they were losing opportunities, they were losing um, business, they couldn't expand because they didn't have it, um, but yet they didn't have the, the production capacity to deliver. So you might, you might talk about one particular component that you improved that, that eliminated. Yeah, well, I mean, basically their, their administrative processes, like their order handling, their quotation generation, their communications with customers, uh, they were just taking them way too long. So we took those and had a look at those processes. We broke them down uh standardized them, made them uh, use a little bit of uh, technology to, to automate some of them. And the result, in fact, was we actually gave him about 15% um, increase in his production capacity, while wow. still being able to do all those activities at the same time. You know? Very good. And, you know, even in terms of enjoyment in the job, people get tired of doing repetitive stuff. So if they're doing stuff that's higher value, it even brings a bit more joy to the job, doesn't it? It does. And I think what happens is a lot of people end up doing the same things the same way because they've always done it or that you know joe taught mary how to do it so therefore that's how it's done rather than ever you know sitting back and looking and saying well you know why do we do this 
you know, is this the most simple, most productive way to actually do it? And time has moved on. I mean, the process and the business uh, practices that were right for the last five or 10 years probably won't be right for the next 12 months in the environment we're in, let alone for the next five years. You know, so, you know, it's, it's taking those um, processes, picking them apart and getting them where you get better resource utilization so that you become a stronger, more profitable business. You know, something which everybody wants to do in business. For sure. And I, it's it's really about continuous improvement, isn't it? You improve and then you put in systems. I mean, you were talking to me about one of the things you used to do in Waterford Crystal in terms of going back over your documents and document management. Yeah, exactly. And it is. It's you know, the control, you know, finding what the problem is and putting in a new way of doing it is, is the start. And then making sure that you measure that and you control it so it doesn't slip back the whole time. You, you'll never make 100%. You always strive for perfection, as they say, but you will fall back. But as long as you don't fall back to where you started, you know, and you go again, you'll continue to get, to get better. I mean, a lot of people will say to me, oh, I, I'm too busy. I don't have the time. But that's exactly why they should be looking at their processes, because it's to give them the time to actually work on the valuable stuff, um, you know, the valuable uh, activities that will help them grow and become a stronger, more sustainable you know, enterprise. And that's what they say. Make sure that you focus on the important, not urgent stuff, because it, it, if you're urgent, urgent all the time, you know, you're getting clogged up on wasteful activities. Even I was talking to Maria uh, the other day about some of the document management she's doing going through letters that we've saved on our L drive on our system drive and they should actually be on our CRM system so before she moves them she's gone through all the letters and there's probably 30 letters there that we never use yeah I I mean I I use it I suppose uh, (laughs) kind of a, a little way of explaining to people that, like every business like you've said there they've got this um itch that they can't scratch it's which is basically a process which never works properly you know it always seems to you know, you have a firefight at the end or you run through it at the, when you finish the the activity you say why does that always give us so much trouble and they're the processes that you need to start teasing out mm-hmm.